Hey there folks and welcome to Harlequin's News. My name is Mark and I'm here to bring you all the latest news, new releases and event info for this week. We have a slightly shorter video this week as there's been a bit of a lull in the release schedule which is kind of handy considering how many things have been coming out of late. But with all that being said we still have to do an episode so let's crack on with it. As usual let's begin by looking at what's on this week at Harlequin's, starting with Preston. As always, these events don't change from one week to the next, so please pause the video if you would like to read all of the information displayed. Details of any of these events can be found on the website. So the first additional event for Preston this week is tomorrow. Yes, this Saturday the 16th we have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Soul Burner launch event. This event starts at 2pm, so please make sure you're there by 1.30pm to get registered. This event is set to go on until 6.30pm, whereupon the draw will be done. More on that in a moment. The entry fee is just that you buy a Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul Burner Structure Deck from us in store, the price of which is £7.50. This is a casual event based around playing one unaltered Soul Burner Structure Deck. As such, there is only one prize, a Soul Burner Playmat, which will be given away randomly at the event's end of 6.30pm. At the same time in Preston, we have a Magic the Gathering Store Championship event. The start time for this event is 1.30pm, with the event going on until about 6pm. The entry fee is £5, with prizes being boosters, promos and deck boxes. First place will also receive a champion's playmat. So those are all the additional events for Preston, let's have a look at what's going on in Blackpool this week. Well here's what's on this week as usual in Harlequin's Blackpool. Again, these are regular events, so please pause the video if you wish to read them all, and please check the website for more information. So the first additional event in Blackpool this week is tomorrow, Saturday the 16th, and that is a Yu-Gi-Oh! Structure Deck Soul Burner launch event. This event starts at 2pm, so please make sure you're there by 1.30pm to get registered. This event is set to go on until 6.30pm, whereupon the draw will be done. More on that in a moment. The entry fee is just that you buy a Yu-Gi-Oh! Soul Burner Structure Deck from us in store, the price of which is £7.50. This is a casual event based around playing one unaltered Soul Burner Structure Deck. As such, there is only one prize, a Soul Burner Playmat, which will be randomly given away at the end of the event at 6.30pm. With that being said, that's all the events done for this week, so on to card game releases. First up for card games this week is Pokemon TCG Elemental Power Tins. Releasing February 22nd, these great value tins come in three exciting flavours, Vaporeon GX, Jolteon GX and Flareon GX. In each one you get a GX Pokemon card that matches the tin you bought, four Pokemon boosters and a code to get the same in the online version of the game. All for the low Holoquids price of £19 each. With that being said, there are no other new releases for card games this week. Although, to be fair, we've had a glut just recently of new releases from all the card games, so a chance for our wallets to catch a break is a fine thing. As for upcoming card game releases, I've had no new info this week, so I'll refrain from speculation until I have concrete news. With that in mind, we have no reason not to move on to board game releases, so let's do that. Up for release this week for board games, we have a game that has been doing very well on the review circuit, Treasure Island. This is a game of bluffing, where one player plays the role of Long John Silver, who is desperately trying to mislead the other pirate players for long enough so that he or she can be released from prison and head to where their treasure is buried and scarper. This is made difficult because John has to give up clues every turn, although he can sow a few false ones during the course of the game to try and improve his chances. It won't feel like enough as the players swarm all over the island and dig up enormous swathes. I'm sure the other players will be able to see the beads of sweat as the Long John player struggles to remain calm as they get ever closer. You can get this mighty haul of a game for £40 at Harlequin's price. With that being said though, the board game industry seems to be relaxing at the moment as there really aren't any other games that are worth telling you fine people about. Or at the least, none that I have had any hard and fast details with our suppliers. So, with no other releases this week, and no new info either, let's move on to miniatures games.
This week for miniatures sees the release of all the Games Workshop items I mentioned last week on Harlequin's News. All of the following are released tomorrow, Saturday the 16th of February. First off we have Carrion Empire. This two player starter set is a great way to start playing Age of Sigmar, or start one of the two factions, Flesh Eater Courts and Skaven, that are found in this great value box set. With models as disgustingly beautiful as this, you'd be mad not to grab a copy of this at Harlequin's price of £76. To support the release of Karen Empire, we have a number of new releases. First up we have Skaven Battle Tome. This army rulebook is £20 at Harlequin's price. Next up we have Skaven Endless Spells. These spell effect models are £17 at Harlequin's price. We also have Skaven Dice. These dice studded with genuine warpstone and symbols of the Great Horned One are £16 at Harlequin's price. Also for a release are Skaven Norholes. These allow your rat forces to swarm all over the world, or retreat as needs be. For Harlequin's price of £27.50. Next up we have Skaven Clan Rats. Every army needs troops and that's exactly what these guys are. Fill your ranks for Harlequin's price of £17.50 a box. On the other side now we have Flesh Eater Quartz Battle Tome. This army rulebook is £20 at Harlequin's price. And we also have Flesh Eater Quartz Endless Spells. These spell effect models are £17 at Harlequin's price. And lastly for Flesh Eater Quartz, Charnel Throne. This creepy terrain piece costs no match points to use, but will certainly inspire your troops while demoralising your opponents. All for only £17.50 at Harlequin's price. That's all for Age of Sigmar, but shifting over to Warhammer 40,000 for a minute, we have a couple of new releases. Supporting the recent Gene Stiller Cult release we have, the Gene Stiller Cult Biophagus, £13.50 at Harlequin's price, Gene Stiller Cult Abominant, £13.50 at Harlequin's price, Gene Stiller Cult Aberrant, £21.50 at Harlequin's price, and finally the Gene Stiller Cult Achilles Ridge Runner, £23.50 at Harlequin's price. So that's all the latest releases for GW this week, and we have nothing new from anyone else. So let's move on to upcoming releases for miniatures. Upcoming for Star Wars Legion, we have a couple of new releases, both being released on Thursday the 21st of February. First up we have Jin Erso, Commander Expansion. From the immensely popular film Rogue One, the lead character Jin Erso now finds herself commanding teams of troops on the battlefields of Legion. This dynamic posed model, character cards and upgrades can be yours for £11.50 at Harlequin's price. Supporting Jin Erso's release we also have Ripple Pathfinder's unit expansion. These veteran troops will help you secure victory with their years of hard won experience really helping them shine on the battlefield. Hire yourself some grizzle help for £21.50 at Harlequin's price. Releasing Saturday 23rd of February, we have a relatively quiet release schedule from Games Workshop, although that doesn't make them any less highly anticipated. As always, I can't show any pictures as Games Workshop do not like us advertising their products for them. So as always, please go to the Warhammer Community's webpage for pictures. First off, we have the Black Library book, Honorbound. Rachel Harrison's debut novel is all about the female commissar Severina Rain and the 11th Antari Rifles, and their attempts at stopping chaos from spreading across the Bale Stars. This hardback book is £18 RRP, or £16 at Harlequin's price. Coinciding with the book's release is a limited edition model of Severina Rain. You'll be able to find rules for her in this month's issue of White Dwarf, so you'll be able to use her in Kill Team. She is £20 RRP, or £17 at Harlequin's price. Next up is a big expansion for Blackstone Fortress, the Dreaded Amble. This large expansion adds new enemies, new quests and data sheets so you can use said models in your game of Warhammer 40,000. This expansion will be £35 RRP or £30 at Harlequin's price. Released at the same time is a carry case for Blackstone Fortress designed to hold all of your Blackstone miniatures and bedecked with the Blackstone logo. This sleek carry case is £35 RRP or £30 at Harlequin's price. And that's your lot folks, so with all that said, let's head back over to me. So there you go then folks, that's you all caught up. Thank you very much for sticking with us until the end of the episode, we really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, why not consider throwing us a like? And while you're at it, why not think about subscribing so that you can stay up to date with all the latest videos from Team Harlequins. With all that being said though, that's everything for this week, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now folks.